do want to say, though, that waking up so early and having to sit down for eight hours after time is a little rough. formal education.
Sometimes brilliant students are bored due to the long wait for the expiry of the academic session to promote to the next stage. Chance of bad habits adoption may be alarming due to the presence of both good and bad students in the classroom. Wastage of time as some lazy students may fail to learn properly in spite of motivation by the professional trainers. Some unprofessional and non-standard education system may cause the wastage of time and money of the students which leads to the disappointment from formal education and argue them to go for non-formal education. Costly and rigid education as compared to other forms of learning. Informal education may be a parent teaching a child how to prepare a meal or ride a bicycle. People can also get an informal education by reading many books from a library or educational websites. Informal education is when you are not studying in a school and do not use any particular learning method. It may be learned at some marketplace, hotel or at home. Unlike formal education, Informal education is not imparted by an institution such as school or college. Informal education is not given according to any fixed timetable. There is no set curriculum required. Informal education consists of experiences and actually living in the family or community. Teaching the child some basics such as numeric characters. Someone learning his, her mother tongue. A person can learn how to install or delete software using social media or the internet. It is independent of boundary walls. It has no definite syllabus. It is not pre-planned and has no timetable. No fees are required. It is a lifelong process in a natural way. The certificates, degrees are not involved. It has no stress for learning the new things. You can get from any source such as media, life experiences, friends, family, etc. Naturally learning process as you can learn at anywhere and at any time from your daily experience. It involves activities like individual and personal research on a topic of interest for themselves by utilizing books, libraries, social media, internet or getting assistance from informal trainers. Utilizes a variety of techniques. No specific time span. Less costly and time efficient learning process. No need to hire experts. Learners can be picked up the requisite information from books, TV, radio or conversations with their friends, family members. Information acquired from the internet, social media, TV, radio or conversations with friends, family members may lead to the disinformation. No proper schedule, time span. Unpredictable results which simply the wastage of time, lack of confidence in the learner, absence of discipline, attitude and good habits.
Some formal education includes adult basic education, adult literacy education or school equivalency preparation. In non-formal education, someone who is not in school can learn literacy, other basic skills or job skills. Home education, individualized instruction such as programmed learning, distance learning and computer-assisted instruction are other possibilities. Non-formal education is imparted consciously and deliberately and systematically implemented. The non-formal education is planned and takes place apart from the school system. The timetable and syllabus can be adjustable. It is practical and vocational education. Non-formal education has no age limit. Fees or certificates may or may not be necessary. It may be full-time or part-time learning and one can earn and learn together. It involves learning of professional skills, practiced and vocational training, naturally growing minds that do not wait for the system to amend. Literacy with skillfulness growth in which self-learning is appreciated. Flexibility in age, curriculum and time. Open-ended educational system in which both the public and private sector are involved in the process. No need to conduct regular exams, diploma, certificates, and award are not essential to be awarded. Attendance of participants is unsteady. Sometimes, it's just wastage of time as there is no need to conduct the exam on regular basis and no degree. Diploma is awarded at the end of the training session. Basic reading and writing skills are crucial to learn. No professional and trained teachers. Students may not enjoy full confidence as the regular students enjoy. Some institutes provide fake certification through online courses just for the sake of earning. Sports programs such as swimming, tennis etc. Fitness programs, community-based adult education courses. Free courses for adult education developed by some organization. Online learning is a form of distance learning that takes place over the internet. It is interchangeable with the term e-learning. Face-to-face learning has been the standard for centuries, so it is natural to assume that online learning can't compare to it. Some common assumptions are that people cannot retain information learned online, or take learning seriously when it is conducted online. E-learning allows people to learn in their own style and at their own speed. Taken together with the increased engagement, these aspects of online learning benefit knowledge retention. According to a study conducted by W.R. Hambrecht Plus Co. Resource 4, online learning increased the retention rates of the learning material by 25 to 60 percent. In the not-so-distant past, face-to-face learning was the only choice. But now, with the rise of technology, online learning is rapidly becoming more and more popular. Despite this, you might still have some doubts about its effectiveness. Greater than before jumping aboard the e-learning ship takes some time to learn how online learning holds up against traditional face-to-face methods. And see if it is right for your organization. Not only are online courses cheaper but you also don't need to spend precious time commuting back and forth to classes or fly several thousand miles away to a foreign land. Several online courses also have a flexible schedule, meaning you can finish a particular module within a set period of time. If you're a quick learner or are working towards a goal, you 
can complete your course within your own time frame, compared to face-to-face -face learning environments where everyone is on the same schedule. For more introverted personalities, online learning is less stimulating, quieter and there is less pressure for participation. Introverts are also typically better at expressing themselves in writing than verbally.